So today's card features the Celebration Designer Series paper called Inside the Lines, and you can only get this paper from the Celebration promotion with a qualifying order, and then you can get this free, and it has different patterns, um, but the one I'm going to do for this particular video is this pattern right here. So this is 12 by 12, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this down, um, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've cut my paper um, down at 4 inches across. So four, four, and four, and then I turned it and I cut it at five and a quarter across. So I end up with some little strips like this, which I can save for another project. And then I'm going to go through and find the design that I want to use. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this design right here. So I'm going to put the music on for you while I'm coloring this, and then I will show you the next steps after that. piece as you can see I used the different pencil crayons and the marker and my inks and sponges and so that's what I got I kind of wanted like um, a tropical stormy kind of looking sky so that's why I added some extra purples in there next thing I want to do because this measures four by five and a quarter I want to take a quarter of an inch off um, so I'm going to cut this down to measure three and three quarters by five So I'm just going to quickly trim that. Okay, so now this measures three and three quarters by five. I'm just going to take my memento ink and a sponge and just lightly sponge all edges of this piece. I want to um, measure how I'm going to be cutting this. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm taking a ruler and a pencil and I'm just going to make a line across the top and then make a second line And then another one here. And here. And 
And then maybe one here. Okay, so we're going to come back and cut this in a bit, but at least I have my measurements on the back. So now it's time to add the glitter. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this bit here is I have a dragonfly that I'm going to want to put on here, which I'll show you at the end. But with the glitter, nothing will stick on top of the glitter. So I want to mask where I'm going to put my dragonfly. So this is just a mask that I've kept in my set for cards. So I've already cut this out on post-it note paper with my thinlets. So I'm just going to figure out where I want to put my dragonfly. So I think I'll put them there. Now, I don't need the wings. I just need the body. I'm actually going to take my scissors and just trim the wings right off. Just like that. And put the body of my dragonfly right there. So now I'm taking my first mark ink and I'm going to cover the entire piece with the first mark. So you want to make sure your first mark has a lot of ink on it. Make sure you ink it up really, really well. Oops. Okay. Now I'm taking my heat and stick powder and I think have just enough for this card. Definitely need to get some more. And I'm going to sprinkle it all over the card. I really want to make sure I don't get any underneath that mask. Not everybody knows what heat and stick powder, but basically it's a, an adhesive that is set with heat. So it's sort of like an embossing powder, but adhesive. So once you heat this up, it'll become tacky, like glue. So now I'm going to heat set this. So I'm actually going to remove my mask and sap it with my heat gun. And then once it's all sticky, then we're going to add the dazzling diamond glitter. Okay, so now it's clear and it's sticky, so now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on my Dazzling Diamond Glitter, tapping off the excess. I'm not worried about my paper curled up a bit because uh, I can fix that. So sparkly and pretty. Okay, so you want to make sure you've got it all covered with the glitter. Now I'm going to zap it again with the heat tool and then flip it over and rub that glitter so that it's really into that heat and stick powder. Okay, flip it over and give it a good little rub. Hey, look how pretty that looks. And can you see where that mask was? That's going to give me a spot to put the glue down so that I can put my dragonfly on there. So now it's time to cut this. So I've got my stamp and trimmer. And I'm going to line up those marks that I made and just cut them out. It's going to be like building a jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so you kind of want to place these back down so you kind of remember where everything goes. Oops. Okay, and then this tiny piece here.
Okay, so I have a piece of basic black cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half. So when it's folded, it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is the base I'm going to use to glue these pieces on. So what I'm going to do first is just position them to make sure that everything lines up where they should. Alright, so everything fits. So now I'm going to start gluing things down and I'm just going to use my snail glue. So now that I know everything fits on there okay, I'm going to start with this corner piece. And position it down right about there. And I'm going to work my way down. You want to make sure you've got adhesive on your corners. And leave a little bit of a gap. Now I'm just taking a piece of computer paper and this measures four by five and a quarter and putting a little snail on top. Sometimes people ask me why I only put adhesive on the top. I mean you can put as much adhesive as you want but I kind of don't think I need to waste adhesive on the rest of it but that's a personal choice. Alright so now it's time to finish the card and add my dragonfly and a sentiment. So the dragonfly that I'm going to be putting on here is actually from a pop bottle or soda depending where you where you live what you call it but um, I'm gonna show you real quick how I make my dragonflies out of my pop bottles because that's what's gonna go on this card and it's gonna be a real big wow okay I didn't really think at the time of doing this video that I was going to show you how to do this I was just gonna pull out my dragonfly but I know you guys are gonna ask because this is really cool so I have an empty two liter plastic bottle and I've just removed the label and now I'm gonna take my paper snips and where the label was it's nice and smooth there's no ripples or anything in the plastic so put my paper snips in and cut off the top just like that I believe you can recycle that for growing plants and then where the label was glued on I'm going to trim that down and normally I make sure these are clean but I didn't want to waste time I wanted to get this video done and I'm just trimming off the bo bottom portion now okay so there's my piece of plastic for my pop bottle and I don't need such a big piece so I'm actually just going to cut this down. Okay so this is the thinlet I'm going to use. It's from the Detailed Dragonfly Thinlets and as you can see it fits on there really nice but I want to stamp my dragonfly first so I'm going to use my black stays on for that. And this is um, very well loved. Now stays on will stain your photopolymer, but I'm okay with that. I can handle that because as long as it's clean and it keeps stamping crisp and clear as it does, it's just fine. All right, now stamping on the plastic, you want to be careful because it's going to be very, very slippery. So here's what I suggest. Get some tape and tape it down on your work surface so it doesn't budge. Stamp it down nice and gentle. Try not to wiggle. Giving it lots of pressure. Beautiful! Yay! Alright, so you stays on dries pretty quick, but with the plastic, 
I want to give it a little shot of my heat tool just to make sure it really dries on there well. That's nice and dry. To cut this out, I have my big shot and I've got my plate on top of my magnetic platform. Then I'm just going to position my thinlet for the dragonfly right on top. So I just slide it right along. It goes underneath the big shot and then I just crank it through. And I find that this plastic cuts really well, but I just still go back and forth just a little bit. Okay, so now that this is run through, I'm just going to pop it right out. So there's my dragonfly, ready for the card. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I want to add glitter underneath the wings. So there's a couple different ways that can be done. You can actually take clear nail polish and literally just swipe it underneath and then sprinkle on your dazzling diamond glitter, which I've done that and it works well. Or you can use your fine tip glue pen and that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to squeeze some out and just kind of rub it all over the wings. You can actually see some of that glue pooling up there a bit, which is just fine. Back with the Dazzling Diamonds. I'm going to take a piece of scrap computer paper and just sprinkle this right on. Okay. So there we go. We have Ultra Glitter Dragonfly. Can you see how that glitter pops right through the dragonfly wings? Oh my gosh. Love it. Oh, so I'm going to set that aside to dry. Okay, so I want to add a sentiment on a little banner. So these are all scrap pieces of Whisper White cardstock from trimming my paper for different um, projects. And so I save all these little strips. Oh, I have such a hard time throwing out my, my cardstock. But you know what? These strips are all different um, widths and sizes. And sometimes these little ones are just perfect. So that's what I'm going to use. And I actually just keep these little strips in my desk in a little drawer and then they're handy dandy. Oh, I should show you the stamps that I'm using. Back up a little bit. So this is called Designer Tea, another celebration stamp set. This is the last week of celebration. Um, so I'm trying to just really play with all my goodies while they're still available. So a friend of mine just got a job that is her dream job and she's so excited. So this card is for her. So I'm going to use uh, congratulations. Okay, so I'm going to take my stays on and cut my congratulations. Stamp it. Okay, position this. I'm just going to put it right in the center. My handle down. And cut my stamp. Perfect. Nice and center. So I'm going to trim this just a tiny bit and then put my little flag bit. Don't you love how I design the cards as I go along? <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing until I'm actually doing it. And I wish I knew where my bone folder was, but just give it a little bend. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm just going to use a glue dot. Put it right about there. Put it straight on. Maybe tuck another little glue dot underneath. And because this is going to be on that little bit of black cardstock, it'll hold it down. See? Alright. Okay, so now I'm just putting some glue dots right in the middle where that mask was. And I'm kind of rolling them up a little bit as I'm taking them off. Sorry, it was a bit too close, but I kind of roll them up a little bit. And we'll do one more. Can you see? I, let's see. 
I just kind of roll it. There. That should do it. Now, this is not going to be completely, totally dry yet, so I'm watching where I put my fingers. And I'm just bending those wings up a little bit. And I'm going to position my dragonfly right on top of those glue dots. Perfect. So there's my card. And because, you know, that's probably not all blingy quite enough, let's add a rhinestone to the middle part of the dragonfly right here. There. That looks good. It looks really cool. There's a lot of glitter going on in that card. But it's a great way to use that inside the lines designer series paper. I'll show you one that I worked on this weekend. So same thing, just a different pattern. And then I just put a little sentiment with a little bow. And then another one, this is a completely different pattern and different colors. And I love this. I love these colors. And this was completely colored in with the watercolor pencil crayons. And um, it turned out really good with the little bumblebee. Wishing you a beautiful day. So those are the cards that I made using this technique. And again, I've done a video similar to this, so you can check it out. But for today's video, I'm just going to call it the glitter grid technique. Um, it's pretty fun. So the first time I started making dragonflies out of the pop bottles, um, this was the card that I made. And this is using the designer series paper that's um, the Serene Scenery, I think it's called. And um, this was part of my swaps for the Canadian Business Conference that I went to, um, where I did my Lighthouse card and... And then I also did one with the Lift Me Up bundle. So I've not shown these. I don't know why I haven't. I should have. But um, yeah, so that's the other card I made with my dragonflies. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you're inspired to do some stamping. And grab this designer series paper while you still can. It's only available until March 31st with qualifying orders. It's really, really fun. So thanks for watching. Happy stamping.